This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Michigan would lift its ban on stun guns under legislation advanced by lawmakers on Tuesday. State Representative Michelle Hoytenga's plan to allow people to use and possess stun guns in Michigan was approved by the House with bipartisan support. The bill would allow the sale, possession, and reasonable use of a stun device by those 18 and older. Michigan currently allows law enforcement and people with concealed pistol licenses to use a taser, which is a different type of self-defense device than a stun gun. A taser can be used from a distance, while a stun gun requires direct contact with the attacker. The Michigan State Police doesn't support the bill because of safety concerns that were left out of the bill. Supporters said the stun gun ban contradicts several court rulings and argued that people may prefer non-lethal forms of protection over guns. The state police has said that Michigan's law is unconstitutional because it is not a strict ban since tasers are allowed, according to an analysis conducted by the nonpartisan House Fiscal Agency. House Bill 4020 now moves to the Senate for consideration. A company looking to drill oil and gas in Mason is speaking out after claims that the project would pose a health risk to the community. Jordan Development Company asked the state to approve their request to drill. However, Mason Public Schools asked the state to do the opposite because they're concerned about high levels of hydrogen sulfide in the well. Mason Public Schools superintendent told Fox 47 he became concerned about the potential health risks to staff and students after reviewing documents from 1976. The documents from the Michigan Department of Natural Resources suggests that oil and gas exploration at a local well was abandoned by Mobile Oil Corporation because of the high risk associated with elevated hydrogen sulfide levels. The proposed site is located on the south side of Kip Road, just east of the railroad. Jordan Development says more than 130 people who live in that area have signed leases to get a share of any potential profit. The Henry Ford Allegiance Health in Jackson is getting some updates. Renovations are being made to the hospital's emergency department. The renovations are expected to create a more patient-centered environment for the 75,000 visits each year, according to a statement released to Fox 47. We want our community to know we listen to their concerns and take action, said Kim Campbell, Director of Nursing and Patient Care Services. The multi-phase project would be completed in October of 2020. Officials say construction should not impact the timeliness of care. However, the hospital said high patient volumes are expected to continue because of flu season. The hospital said updates on the project will be posted to their Facebook page. The hospital also said that an additional renovation to the front entrance is also expected to be completed this year. By law, nearly a thousand television stations across the country are required to move frequencies to make room for wireless internet broadband services. Now, as a result, Fox 47 is moving frequencies on January 17th of 2020. As we work to make this change, some interruption of service may be experienced. Rescanning is when your TV finds all of the available channels in your area. If you use an antenna to watch television, you will need to rescan your TV set after 10 a.m. on January 17th. A rescan will be necessary to continue watching Fox 47's family of stations. If you are watching on cable or satellite, you don't have to do a thing. Find out more by clicking on the TV rescan button on the Fox 47 News website. Learn more about all of these and all of Mid Michigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.